Hi there, I'm Amber. And for the past year, I've been living in this school bus with my partner, Elijah. So come take a look. Welcome to our parish schoolie. We have been working on this bus for about three years on and off and living in it full time for one. Right now we have our couch, which was my first woodworking project. It is a pull-out couch with tons of storage underneath. So as you can see from the outside of the bus, we closed in the back six windows and we left the front five windows in. We have spray foamed the whole bus with two inches of closed cell foam. One of the biggest compliments we get when people walk into the bus is how cool it is in here. We could not even imagine what it'd be like to have all the windows in this bus because just with the six less windows, two inches of closed cell foam, it feels great in here. It could be better if there were no windows, but that would be just depressing. So we've got the mini split. It's a 12,000 BTU mini split. It's a one ton system. A couple of cons to the system we have in place that I have found is the mini split being up front. The cool air doesn't get all the way to the back. We have to have a fan to circulate to get the cool air all the way to the back. And I put my outside unit underneath the bus and we caged it in with some expanded metal. But that expanded metal is welded to the cage and I really should have put screws in there that way I can take that off and clean it better because it does get real dirty underneath the bus, which is okay as long as you can clean it frequently. The mini split is a 115 volt, draws about 10 amps, 12 amps, somewhere around there. We did film the installation of this mini split. I do dabble in AC and refrigeration work. So check out that video if you are doing your own install. A lot of good information there. And if you would like to know more about this unit. So as for the cockpit area and the dash, I removed all the heater cores, which gave us plenty of room for extra storage. So on this side, we have shelf work and on this side we have shoe cabinets and this is actually amber shoe cabinet my shoe cabinet is missing because we just swapped over to a manual transmission so we're gonna have to redo all this uh, check out our video on swapping from an automatic to a manual transmission right here will be our kitchen which is unbuilt as of right now but we have a makeshift pantry we just have this wobbly shelf as our pantry because our kitchen is unbuilt. We make sure we are parked in a location with a kitchen or we just use our camp stove. Moving on, we have a full fridge and freezer. Right now our fridge is actually empty because we are moving out to finish our bill. Moving upwards, we have a skylight. that I don't open by myself because I can't take it down anyway. A little too short. But we also have a fantastic fan up here. And if you move over this way, we've got a closet and an electrical room. So this is our Magnum inverter. It's also a charger. It's a 3000 watt, 100 amp charger. This is our Outback charge controller for our solar panels. The solar panels are 370 watts a piece and we have two of them. All this is connected to our battery bank, which sits underneath this wall. And we have 250 amp hours of uh, 12 volt batteries. Moving past our hallway, we will have closets and a bathroom here, but currently it just stores a lot of our clothes and bathroom hodgepodge stuff. For the back, we have our bedroom. It is also unfinished. We have exposed walls and wires and outlets, but we plan to raise the bed and have plenty of storage to get rid of all of these clothes out here. Currently, we have a large portion of our clothes underneath the bed and a lot of tools, which I will show you from the back deck. And this is our deck. So normally Eli will do little projects here or we will hang out here, but most importantly, it holds our dirt bike whenever we travel. Now through the back door, you can access the rest of the tools underneath our bed. 
and that about completes our tour. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you would like to see more, give us a subscribe. This build is long overdue and we would love to have you join our journey.